Bu kulun kenarında yıkık bir ülke. A new documentary has Turkey talking. It's about the country's founder, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk. Ataturk, whose name means father of the Turks, is revered in Turkey. His portrait hangs in every office, tea shop, and schoolroom. Some would say he is almost godlike. He created a people and a country which for thousands of years, under the control of a strict religious uh, beliefs, and turned into a westernized society, which is uh, a miracle. Ataturk's status is so untouchable that criticizing his memory is a crime under Turkish law. And until now, he has been portrayed as a bronze hero enshrined in statues. But this film, called Mustafa, shows him as a real person with human weaknesses, a rare and risky endeavor. We know him as a big hero, as a human being. We know not much about him. So this film reflects a man with his disappointments, his victories, uh, a failed husband and uh, a little child. Director Chan Dundar drew on a wide selection of Ataturk's diaries and letters that have been closed in military archives for decades and never before seen by the public. The film began showing on October 29th, National Day, in more than 200 movie theaters around Turkey. But in a country where official history is kept under lock and key, the film drew a frenzy of angry reactions from people vowing to boycott it. I think there are certain scenes and statements that taint the image of Ataturk. I haven't seen the movie myself, but this is what I heard. That's why I really do not want to see it. They said he was smoking all the time, was left alone, was a so-called dictator. These are, of course, the things that bother me. But others say the mere fact that the film was able to show the man behind the personality cult says a lot about how far Turkey has come in the last 10 years. I think it is a beautiful movie. It reflects personal things about Ataturk. I think it's super. I liked it very, very, very much. I cannot understand those who criticize it either. After all, it presents us a different side of Ataturk. The film's composer, Goran Bregovic, whose score for the film was inspired by Ataturk's early life in the Balkans, agrees. I think we didn't saw much of the movies about uh, leaders like Ataturk that, that are that personal, like, like this movie. I hope that people will like it. I know that it's difficult. But at this special screening at the Domabachi Palace, where Ataturk died and where many go to commemorate him, the audience seemed to enjoy it. <laughs>